one more bit of information coming out of that briefing with New York's governor, Andrew Cuomo, as the hits keep on coming. He just wrapped up, by the way. He said that shopping malls and gyms in New York State may not be able to open until there is a coronavirus vaccine. I know many of the gyms in the area were getting set to open maybe the next few weeks sometime in July, and the shopping malls were hoping that they would uh, be able to open up fairly soon as well. Joe Borelli joins us now. He's a Republican on the New York City Council. He's also the chairman of President Trump's campaign in, in New York. What do you make of this, Joe? Look, you know, this is uh, more of just America waking up to the stark hypocrisy of Andrew Cuomo, whether it's this, you know, sudden, sudden requirement to quarantine, whereas only just a month ago, he was threatening to sue the state of Rhode Island when its governor uh, threatened to basically do the same thing while New York was at its peak. This is somebody who, you know, felt that, that Trump didn't act fast enough uh, on banning travel from Europe after he had already criticized Trump for banning travel from China. Uh, I I think it's him trying to stay relevant more than anything uh, as people realize uh, more and more that this emperor has no clothes. He, you know, he, he promised these now, gyms and these malls that they could be reopening soon. And now this is a real kick in the teeth to so many small business owners around the state. That's the thing about small business I was going to bring up. He says they got some new information about how the infection spreads and... You know, that's that's all part of this. I believe it was towards the end of his news conference. I didn't hear him say it. I just saw the headline. But, you know, obviously they're going to say uh, the governor's office and, and these other governors are going to say, hey, listen, we're just trying to keep you safe, um, whether it's the, the shopping malls and the gyms or it's these other states. I mean, I just saw new numbers out of Florida, well over 5000 cases reported in a day. That's their new record. And you know, Texas, we just went to Texas a little while ago. The governor's saying stay inside. So the, there are spikes in some of these other states. You're just saying this is not the way to deal with it. Look, I mean, there's certainly spikes, and the, the common uh, belief and the common guidance is that if you are exposed to someone with coronavirus or you have symptoms, you should be self-quarantined. Uh, but, however, just banning a whole bunch of people, especially with the case of Florida, where so many New Yorkers have second homes, uh, is just something that was so appalling to the governor himself just a month ago uh, that I'm surprised he's going through with this. You know, pe people are just not they're not seeing the common sense in all of the methods anymore. It's tough to explain to someone why they can go into a Target or a Walmart and go shopping for new sneakers, uh, but they can't go into their shopping mall. If the governor was serious and he wanted to help small businesses and keep people safe, they would make reasonable guidelines for things like malls and gyms to reopen. Look, Kyle, if you told me I couldn't go in the sauna in my gym because of coronavirus, that would make a lot of sense to me. Uh, but telling people that these things are going to stay closed indefinitely uh, is not the right way to, to ensure that the economic fallout of this crisis uh, is resolved uh, as, as quickly as we were able to resolve, to some degree, uh, the crisis itself. I'm sure you're hearing the same. We talk to small business owners all the time. And one of the questions um, that I've asked them over the last few months is, how long can you, you know, sustain this? How long can you keep this going? And, I th you know, as we're coming up to the time at the end of June, we're right around the time that many of them told us at the start of the pandemic, yeah, I can make it through then, maybe well, July 1st, it's going to be tough. So we're right around that time. And if we're not starting to open up or if we're going into more shutdowns, that's going to be even more trouble um, for them, obviously. Yeah, and this is also coinciding when the PPE for most uh, recipients is running out. Uh, so yes. the, the government lifeline is not going to be there much longer. Uh, and when you talk about something like restaurants, they're not open at full capacity. If they were open at full capacity and people felt comfortable going there, it would be a faster recovery. Uh, and, and again, that's not the fault of the business owner. But we, we need to be more cognizant and more aware uh, that the economic fallout of this crisis for cities and states that were hard hit, like New York, is going to be as bad, if not uh, worse, than some of the actual physical uh, and medical crisis that we faced. I mean, New York City right now is facing $10 billion in, in, in shortfall. And that's because the economic engine of the city uh, has just been shut off for three months. There's no way to just turn on a spigot and, and get that money flowing again. Uh, and the sooner the governor realizes that, uh, the, the sooner he'll, he probably will make the state better off. Let me ask you this as, a follow, as the final question, though, Joe. So you're in city government, and if, and if someone came to you and, and you were just put in charge of it, how would you handle it? And you said, well, the, the, all these cases are up and, and state X, Y, and Z. People are coming into New York. Would you just ignore it and hope for the best, or would you put in certain guidelines and not others? How would 
a mayor or governor, um, Joe Borelli, handle this situation right now if you're in his shoes? No, no Connell, I mean, I, I, I would hold the course. Look, I, I'm not one of those people who thinks that coronavirus and the pandemic were not real. It, it was real. A lot of people in my neighborhood on Staten Island got very sick and many died. Holding the course, still requiring people to wear masks, requiring capacity limits at certain uh, businesses, these are all good things. Self-quarantining, if you've been exposed to coronavirus, is also an important thing. Contact tracers, a lot of the stuff we're doing is on the right track, but it's going too slow, and we're, we're, we're too eager to just sacrifice businesses uh, for this continued show of Governor Cuomo. It's too easy for him. He gets a paycheck every other Friday. His check's coming on Friday. My check's coming on Friday. I wish he would put himself in the shoes uh, of more people who are facing economic uncertainty, and I think we would certainly, certainly be better off.